Hello students, in this video, I will be discussing about orthogonal basis. To begin with, if we have S equal to a set of non-zero vectors in a vector space V, ui not equal to zero, and S is orthogonal then S is a basis of a subspace spanned by S because S will be linearly independent since it is orthogonal now since s is a basis if we have u in vector space v then u equal to c1 u1 plus c2 u2 plus c3 u3 plus cn un since s is orthogonal if we take inner product of any vector ui in s with u this will be ui c1 u1 plus c2 u2 plus cn un since we are talking about real vector spaces the linearity property applies to the second position as well therefore we can write this as c1 ui u1 plus c2 ui u2 plus ci ui ui plus cn ui un now as we said ui belongs to s and s is orthogonal therefore in a product of ui with every other vector becomes zero except for ci this is because of because of the positive definite property this will be non zero and because of the orthogonal property every other inner product that is the remaining inner products will be zero so we have an expression for the scalar ci for the for the linear combination that we have written here so ci will be in a product of u ui over in a product of ui with itself this is for i equal to 1 to n now this is called as a fourier coefficient We will have a look at an example to understand how to find the Fourier coefficients. Let us consider S equal to 1, 1, 0, minus 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 1 minus 9 2 
सिक्सटीन माइनस थर्टीन वन थ्री विच इज अ सबसेट ऑफ आर फोर शो दट एस इज एन ऑर्थोगोनल बेसिस ऑफ आर फोर find the coordinates of वन टू माइनस वन वन नाउ टू आंसर दिस द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू शो दैट एस इज ऑर्थोगल वी नीड टू टेक पेयर ऑफ वैक्टर्स suppose we'll call s to be u1 u2 u3 and u4 in the same order now inner product of u1 with u2 will be 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 0 into 1 plus minus 1 into 3 this is 0 Similarly, u one, u three. This is one into one plus one into one plus zero into minus nine plus minus one into two. This again will be zero. U one, u four. This will be. One into sixteen plus one into minus thirteen plus zero into one plus minus one into three. This is also zero. Then inner product of u two with u three. This is one into one plus two into one plus one into minus nine plus three into two. Which is zero again. U two, U four. This will be one into sixteen plus two into minus thirteen plus one into one plus three into three. This will be sixteen, seventeen. Twenty six minus twenty six, which is zero. And finally, u three, u four. To show that a set S is orthogonal, we need to show that the inner product of every pair, every possible pair, will be zero. This is one into sixteen plus one into minus thirteen plus. Minus nine into one plus two into three. So this will be sixteen plus six twenty two minus twenty two, which is zero. This implies yes is an orthogonal set. Now every element is non-zero. This implies. S S is also linearly independent because of the theorem that we have proved. Any set ortho orthogonal set of non-zero vectors will always be linearly independent. Now S has four. linearly independent vectors and dimension of r4 is 4 therefore therefore 
S is a basis of R4. If we know the dimension of a vector space and we have the uh, required number of vectors, linearly independent vectors, then that will be a basis. That is, if we have a vector space of dimension n and we have a set of n linearly independent vectors, then that set will always be a basis of that vector space. Now to find the coordinates of 1, 2, minus 1 and 1. For that, we make use of the formula that we have just arrived at, that is, that is the Fourier coefficients. The formula for the Fourier coefficient should be, now we have 1, 2, minus 1, 1. Let us take this as u. So, u equal to c1 u1 plus c2 u2 plus c3 u3 plus c4 u4. Now, ci is inner product of u ui over ui ui. Therefore, C1 is inner product of u, u1 with u1, u1. So inner product of u, u1 will be 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1 plus minus 1 into 0 plus 1 into minus 1 which is equal to Now, inner product of u1 with u1 will be 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 0 plus minus 1 squared, which is 3. Now, this implies c1 is 2 by 3. Similarly, inner product of u, u2 will be 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus minus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 3 which is equal to 7. Inner product of u2 with u2 is 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 3 squared which is equal to 15. Now this implies C2 which is inner product of u u2 over inner product of u2 u2. So this will be 7 by 15. So inner product of u, u3, one can find this and this to be 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1 plus minus 1 into minus 9 plus 1 into 2 which is 14. inner product of u3 with u3 this will be 1 squared plus 1 squared plus minus 9 squared plus 2 squared which is equal to 87 So this gives us C3 which is inner product of U, U3 over inner product of U3, U3. So we have 14 by 
87. Similarly, we can find u u4 which is equal to minus 8 and inner product of u4 with u4 which will be 435 so c4 will be inner product of u with u4 over inner product of u4 u4 so this will be minus 8 by 435 so we can write the linear combination of two by three u one plus seven by fifteen u two plus 14 by 87 u3 minus 8 by 435 u4 so the coordinate vector of u relative to this basis given will be 2 by 3 7 by 15 4 by 87 and minus 8 by 435 